Hi guys, it's Chris from Blacktown Bricks and Pieces and I absolutely love selling used Lego. It's a fantastic way to earn extra cash in your spare time and anyone can do this. As always, if you find this information useful, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see my other videos. In today's video, I'll be talking about fake Lego. Now I've bought about 500 kilos of Lego in the last 10 months. It's a lot of Lego and it's a lot of processing. And every single lot I've bought, there's been fakes. Whether it's been a 5 kilo lot or a 100 kilo lot. Every single lot I've got has had fakes in. Usually the sellers don't even know there's fakes in it. They're not going to go sort through it and find the fakes, they just want to get rid of the Lego. And it's your job as a reseller to make sure you pull all the fakes out before you resell the Lego. Now most Lego fakes are pretty easy to find. They're usually the bricks and plates and they sound different and also they're quite hard to stick together. They just don't feel right. But lately I've found a lot more of the unusual pieces, the clips, the facets, a lot of unusual pieces that now have fakes as well. So you've got to be extra vigilant to make sure all these fakes are pulled out of your stock before you sell them. In today's video I'm going to show you a quick and effective way of uh, detecting fakes and removing them as quick as possible. It's a really simple process, anyone can do it, but I found this is much quicker than the old way when I used to just sort them out and pull them out as I was sorting through the brick types. This is where all the sorting happens. I put everything face up with the studs facing up, which makes it so much easier to detect fakes. But once these are set up with this, all I need to do is run a high powered lamp and an angle across the surface of the pieces. That way you can easily see the Lego logos and you'll notice straight away which ones are fake. Normally the fakes either have a smooth surface or another logo on it that's not Lego. This is a great way of sorting through defects as well because the bright light shows all the cracks, the scratches, any minor imperfections so you can pull these out at the same time. Like I said, it's a quick and easy process and doing the whole lot here will take about a minute to sort through. If I was doing it the old way and picking them out as I was sorting, it would take a lot, lot longer. Well, I hope you found this useful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button to see my other videos and I'll see you all next time.